What we're going to do is we're all going to use the same sample to make beats. And we're going to No, no, no. Last time we chose different samples. We're going to use all the same sample. So we hold the record like this between our two fingers, gently like that, and we place it on the turntable. Justin, have you done this before? We need to work together to hear the samples and see what, what samples we like. So Marco's recording it. I want you all to look on the screen. You see these waves? They're going. That's the sound of the record coming in. They're going up and down. These are going up and down. Okay, Justin, can you please take the needle off the record and rest it in its resting place? This is the other side. All right, Christopher. I'm going to use your drag to sample in. There it is. And now you want to select slice to new MIDI track. Because that, that's what cuts it up onto the pads. Now, I, uh, click right there and go down to beat chop. That one right there, perfect. And you see how it's that little peak? It's like a little little mountain. What we have to do is drag this little line right here and bring it closer so that it's closer to that line in the middle that cuts everything off from up and down. Most of the time, it's just counts of four. You just go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so you guys just put your kicks on the what, on the where? Where do the kicks go? Two and a four. Mm, the kicks runs? One and a three. And where do the snares go? Two and a four. Very good. Where do the kicks go? The kicks? Which one are the kicks? Oh, on the one and the two. No, you're close. Two and a four. One and a three. Very good. Thank you.